this gets worse, the older you get. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's dad. A very ticked off dick here. You know what ticks me off? Not the hair growing all over my head and body, but the maintenance schedule that's required because of it. Now, follow me. I've ranted about getting older, and I've ranted about the hair that comes out of everywhere you don't want and doesn't grow anywhere you want. No, no. The point of this video is to explain the exhausting and necessary daily maintenance that men of a certain age have to go through so we don't look like freaking hobo wolf men roaming the streets like Night of the Living Fucking Dead. Look, I've come to accept that hair grows everywhere on my head and body. Some of it is seasonal, but really most of it is current. Seasonal is like back hair. I really only need to deal with back hair during the summer when I have my shirt off. And chest hair in the winter, who cares that you have a matted buffalo skin wrapped around your entire upper body? Who's going to see? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? And if you happen to take a vacation to a warm weather place in the winter, then you'll deal with it at that time. Like, just before you go. So you look like a human being at the resort. And then once you get home, you can devolve again into a fucking throw rug with legs and arms. No. The problem is with the other hair everyone sees every day in public. Here's the problem. It doesn't grow at the same speed. The nose is different from the eyebrows, which is different from the ears, which is different from the neck, which is different from the special odd places, which is different than shaving altogether. I have to shave every day. I mean, I don't have to, but I like to shave every day. That's okay. But then you're shaving and you notice your nose looks like it has a, a, a double barrel hairball in each fucking snot socket. So you get out the specific battery operated device to deal with it and okay. Now you're shaved and your nose is acceptable for public display. You check out everything else and it's okay. It's okay. Then the next morning you shave and you see that maybe your eyebrows are starting to look like Andy Rooney. Remember him? If not, take out your Google machines and Google image of Andy Rooney. And you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, so now you see the nose is holding nicely and you, you get out your battery-powered uh, eyebrow device and now you, you take care of them. Okay. Now, sometimes you have to shave quickly or it's, it's the weekend and you don't shave until the evening when the light is different and somehow a couple of days go by and the next thing you know, you look in the mirror and you realize, oh my God, I've been going outside in public with my ears looking like a garbage can lid with, with, with a throw rug over it. And you start to think about who could have seen it while you were out. And did they think you were an animal for not taking care of obvious caveman growth? And you take out the special device for your ears now and you spend five minutes getting every part of your ear because now it grows in the hole, on the lobe, on the side, and around the rim at the top. You're like a fucking monkey. And you get that done. And you maybe do a quick nose job and you realize the eyebrows are still okay, but, but you see the space between the eyebrows is starting to fill and there's one fucking hair coming out in the middle of your nose and one hair under your eye, above your cheek, where your hair, where your hair should never grow unless you've been part of a fucking experiment on the island of, the, of Dr. Moreau. If you don't know what that is, Google that too. Anyway, my point is this fucking cycle of unwanted, bizarre hair growth repeats itself every fucking day. Then throw in the idea that once in a while you realize you need to trim the package or else Lucy thinks I'm a fucking chia pet and then you throw in a summer work on the, on the back chest and the neck in between haircuts and it becomes clear that you do more work on your body than a fucking poodle groomer does in a week except they get paid, you just do it so you don't scare women and children at the fucking mall. And of course, this gets worse the older you get, meaning the cycle happens faster and faster and the hair grows more and more and your body invents a new places for alien hair to pop up and say, hello, hello, you fucking mutant prehistoric jerk off. 
You either make the decision that you're going to stay home all the time, or you make the decision to deal with this shit every day because the other option is to say, fuck it and go outside. And honestly, I don't have the balls to do that. I see some people do, but not me, not me. I can't. The last thing I need is for someone to throw up my shoulder at a meet and greet after a fucking show. I'm telling you. It's exhausting and constant and necessary. I go through more batteries than an ever-ready fucking testing facility. The maintenance required for the hair growing all over my head and body, that's what fucking ticks me off.